Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve. So today we're going to be taking a first look at the Rectech RT700 pellet grill, uh, also known as the Bull. So I'm going to do an unboxing and then uh, take you guys through the main features of this grill. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's our Bull in the box. It's sitting on the pallet. This is how it came off of the truck. So I'm going to go ahead and get the top off and show you how it comes straight out of the box. All right, so straight out of the box, you have the grill that's got the side shelf and the legs and the handles and all that uh, packed up inside just like that. So that's what we're going to have to put together. And then this is the bottom shelf down here. So this is probably going to take about 45 minutes to an hour. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, with the help of my wife, get this all put together and we'll pick back up in just a little bit. All right, so here we go. This is a nice little shot of the bowl all put together. It took my wife and I uh, just a little bit over an hour uh, to put it together. You can see uh, I also have the optional front folding shelf there. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the features. So this thing is decked out in stainless steel. Um, we've got the stainless steel side shelf here with the uh, smart grill technology controller in here and this is the Wi-Fi unit and it comes with two uh, probe slots here. All right, we've got the stainless steel hopper lid here and this is a 40 pound hopper. So this is gonna last you for a ton of cooks. And we've got our stainless steel chimney cap, our bucket down here, our side handle. Of course, we've got the iconic stainless steel bowl handles here. And again, this is the optional front folding shelf. And so this guy just collapses like that and then you can just snap it right back into place. And just a quick little shot at the bottom shelf there. Now that does come included with the grill. So that's a nice little spot for some storage. And then inside the grill, we've got our temperature probe over here. And then here is our fire pot. Hopefully you guys can see this, but inside of our fire pot down on the bottom, there's the ceramic igniter rod. And here's a quick little shot at the internal light that you can uh, turn on and off to monitor your cooks at night. All right, so this is a stainless steel flame deflector that just sits over your fire pot, just like that. And then our massive stainless steel drip pan. And that just sits in there just like that. Then our stainless steel cooking racks sit in just like this. Okay, another optional add-on that you can purchase is the stainless steel uh, second shelf. And so this just sits in here on the main cooking rack just like that. And so it's nice if you wanna, you know, throw some extra ribs up there, some chicken. You know, if you're doing a, a pretty big cook, this gives you uh, quite a bit more space up here. All right, and the very last thing that we're gonna do here is a one hour burn-in. So I've got it set to 400 degrees. You can see we already have some nice smoke pouring out. And uh, once it gets up to 400 degrees, we're gonna let it go for one hour. And th the reason for this is really just to kind of kill off any leftover residues from the manufacturer's uh, manufacturing process. So pretty straightforward. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Uh, I hope you like what you saw. I'm definitely stoked on this new grill. Um, keep an eye on my channel as I start to do some cooks on this bad boy. Check out my uh, Instagram page too. There's a link in the video description. Uh, I frequently uh, post a lot of pics and short little clips of uh, some different cooks that I do that I don't necessarily post to my channel here. So uh, definitely keep an eye out there as well. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you again soon.